In this video, we're going to find the derivative of this algebraic expression. We have the square root of x to the one-third minus three times x to the fifth divided by three minus x squared. Or if we write it in exponential form, it would be this to the one-half power. So let's go ahead. We want to find dy dx. So of course we take the one half down, then the new exponent for this expression is one half minus one, which of course is minus one half. So this will be equal to one half x to the one third minus three x to the fifth divided by three minus x squared quantity to the minus one half. And now this is times the derivative of what is inside of these brackets. So we have d dx of x to the one-third minus three x to the fifth divided by three minus x squared. So here now we have to take the derivative of this quotient. So let's just work on this part of the problem. We have d dx of the quantity inside of these brackets. And that will equal, okay, it will be the denominator, three minus x squared, times the derivative of the numerator. So, we have three minus x squared Taking the derivative of this, we'll have one-third x to the one-third minus one, that's minus two-thirds. Then taking the five down times negative three, that's minus fifteen. And the new exponent is five minus one, which is four. Then it's minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. So we have x to the one-third minus three x to the fifth. And now the derivative of this denominator is just going to be minus two x dx dx minus two x dx dx, and this is just one of course, so we don't usually write that down, so this is just times minus 2x divided by the denominator squared. So the derivative of this is equal to this expression. Here we have a negative times a negative, so we can just write this as a positive. And really, um, the calculus part of the problem is over. dy dx is equal to this times this. But we can perhaps clean this up a little bit. But from now on, it's just all algebraic manipulations. Let's see, this will equal Multiplying across, we have three times one-third is one, x to the minus two-thirds. Minus 45 x to the fourth. Then 
then here we will have minus one third and adding these exponents we multiply we have two six thirds minus two thirds this will be to the plus four thirds then multiplying here we will have plus fifteen times x to the sixth Try to keep this in better focus. Okay, we just multiplied across here. Three times one third is one, so we have x to the minus two thirds. Then three times negative fifteen, that's minus forty-five times x to the fourth. And then multiplying here, we have minus one third. And then adding these exponents, we have two minus two thirds. That's x to the four thirds. Then multiplying here, we have 15 times x to the sixth. Then over here, we have 2x times x to the one third. So we have plus 2 times x to the four thirds minus 6x to the sixth. and the denominator is unchanged. Okay, so it looks like we can collect some terms in the numerator. This will equal 15 minus 6, that's 9, times x to the sixth, and we have minus 45 times x to the fourth and x to the four thirds x to the four thirds two minus one third this is two is six divided by three minus one third that's five thirds times x to the four thirds and then we have this term plus x to the minus two thirds divided by this three minus x squared quantity squared so we have found then that after doing a little bit of algebra, this quantity right here is the derivative of this quotient. So all that remains to do then is multiply this by this, and we'll have our um, we'll have our answer. Notice now that this is to the minus one half. If we had this to the plus one half, then that would be the same thing as having this in the denom having the denominator and the numerator, and this would be downstairs. Remember how that works. Um, say that we have x to the minus one half. That's the same thing as x to the minus one to the plus one half. equals 1 minus x to the plus 1 half. So if we take the reciprocal of this, as we've done here, and this negative exponent becomes a positive exponent. So if we take the reciprocal of this, this would be in the numerator, this would be downstairs, and that would be to the plus 1 half. And it would be tempted to do that because with this and the numerator, 3 minus x squared, we have to multiply this, remember, by this, where here the 3 minus x squared is down here in the denominator. So what we'll do is this. We're going to have to um, make some room here. So make certain you have this written down. Because this is this. We're going to write that in place of that. And then we're going to write this with a plus 1 half so that this is upstairs. So let's do it one step at a time.
first, let's rewrite this expression, dy dx now. equal, we have a one-half too, but this is going to be upstairs, 3 minus x squared divided by x to the one-third minus 3x to the fifth, and this is now to the positive one-half, once we take that reciprocal. But now we can write this as 3 minus x squared to the plus 1 half divided by the denominator to the plus 1 half. So let's, we're going to write it like that. So here we're going to have then 3 minus x squared to the plus 1 half divided by x to the 1 third minus 3x to the fifth to the plus one half times two. Then we have to multiply by this expression and that we determine to be nine x to the sixth minus forty five x to the fourth plus five thirds x to the four thirds plus x to the minus two-thirds divided by three minus x squared quantity squared. So here we can do this division simply by uh, subtracting the exponents. One-half minus two is negative three-halves. So dy dx, for our final form of the answer, dy dx will equal, this stays the same, 9x to the sixth minus 45x to the fourth plus 5 thirds x to the four-thirds plus x to the minus two-thirds. This stays the same, two. We can write that as a square root if we want to. This stays the same, x to the one-third minus three x to the fifth. Then for here we have one half minus one, that's three minus x squared to the minus three halves, so that stays down here in the denominator. That's plus three halves. And there's our answer, dy dx. So hope that was worthwhile. Um, really, what we did was Back here, then, it's obviously helpful to write this in exponential form and just go ahead and apply our uh, differentiation rules. One half times this expression to the negative one half. But then we have to take the derivative of what's inside of these brackets, this d dx. And we did that. And with, after, with a little bit of um, algebra, we found that this was equal to this. And then we rewrote this by taking its reciprocal, which gives it to the one-half power. So we have a one-half here, a one-half here. And then simply do this division, giving us 3 minus x squared to the 3 halves power. And that's it. Um, that's, the final, uh, that's the final answer. Um, a reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website. If you go there and go to the calculus section and then scroll down to where it says derivatives, you see that we have several different types of functions that we go ahead and solve the derivative for. So 
that's it for this video. Um, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll go ahead and try and solve some more problems.